I don't want to set up a camera for this. Um, I just got off the phone and apparently one of my friends has committed suicide. It's another friend that I've lost. And I know it's not, like, I know it's not, like, I don't know. I'm just so sick of losing everyone. It really scares me. Like, I just can't deal with losing people anymore. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so fucking hard. Don't let me drown. Oh look, I'm looking so attractive. Um, as you saw from the intro clip, um, I just lost. I'm only filming this now because everything I'm feeling is how everyone feels, I think. I don't know. I'm making this just because I need to get this out there. Um, if you're feeling suicidal, please reach out to someone. Please reach out. Just or talk to your family. Talk to someone. Don't just go ahead and do it. Just talk to someone for... <laughs> happened again. <laughs> I didn't know she was struggling. I had not spoken to her for a month. Just one month. <laughs> like, I knew, I knew she had problems. I knew she was going through this as well. I just couldn't deal with it, so I didn't answer the phone. I should have answered the phone until yesterday. I should have spoke to her. I should have ignored her. I'm such a horrible person. I, I wasn't there for her when she needed me. I wasn't there for her when she needed someone. I wasn't there for her when she called asking for help. If you're, if you're considering suicide, please, please reach out to someone. If someone calls you and you know they're going through stuff, don't just ignore their calls. <laughs> get through this. How am I going to get through this? How am I going to get through this? through this? It's not like I can even go up and see her. I've literally been tweeting all morning about PTSD awareness and fucking stuff like that. And then I get a phone call and then I get told that. When she tried to call me at fucking 1am, 2am, 3am, I was awake. I was very awake. Um, I didn't answer the phone because I was like, well, if I answer the phone, I won't be able to go to sleep. <laughs> and my mom fell to this morning hanging. Why? <laughs> such a horrible place. <laughs> I thought she had bring a name or photos because her mum asked me not to. And I respect that. <laughs> I really do respect that. I've lost so many people now. I always say that people can message me and do something. I just haven't been in the right, in the right frame of mind to answer. That's why it happened. I've just ignored it all. I'm filming this on Sunday. Um, it's currently Sunday. Um, I don't even know what date it is. I can't do anything but cry. This is the one that I grew up with that was there with me when I was dealing with my eating disorder. It's worse. Someone that was there for me when I first tried to kill myself. Like she came to the A E department to be with me, and. Even when I was depressed and when stuff happened, she still came to fucking see me. Um, I didn't answer that one fucking phone call because I didn't, because I wanted to fucking sleep. I don't ever speak to her again. I can never see her again. It's a horrible feeling. This video is not educational, so I'm supposed to. I don't get. I don't understand how people can message me and be like, oh, you're such an inspiration, <laughs> you really help me. Meanwhile, everyone around me dies. <laughs> I know I'm not a crisis number. I always say to my friends, though, if you're going through something, just call me, like that. Like, which is true. Like, I, I try 
afraid to be. I just... <laughs> I just got up last night and said to my dad, I was going to call my son Zant on the phone and spoke to her for an hour and he might have felt a bit better and not done it. <laughs> I don't understand how people think I'm inspirational just because I talk about my life. I don't see how people find it helpful. I don't understand people find it helpful. <laughs> because people who know who me don't. And I am terrified of losing people. I am absolutely terrified of it. <laughs> you know, that's just my life. <laughs> and I've got to keep going. <laughs> I have to keep going. And I don't know how to. I really don't know how to this time. And I feel like there's like I'm just lost one too many people now. I can sit I can talk about mental health to the end of the fucking earth. I can sit and talk about my life. I can do that. But when something happens I just don't know. I feel so out of control that it's just it's the worst feeling ever. Um, you know, the message of this is if you feel like doing something to yourself or to anyone, just phone for help. I don't care if it's a fucking ambulance, I don't care if it's belief, I don't care if it's a help, I just reach out to support. <laughs> the thing that's hurting me the most is the fact that we had been talking on Facebook and we was planning, like, so over the summer, I didn't know who she was even struggling at the moment. I didn't know she had stuff going on at the moment. I should have been there. I should have answered the phone. I should have done something. It just makes me think, like, how many messages I haven't read on Facebook and how many messages I haven't read on Instagram and Twitter. Like, what if these are people asking for help? They just, uh, they just end up dead having room because I didn't answer them. And that it terrifies me. It it terrifies me. The thought that people could have died because I didn't have the And that's actually happened though. That's just so fucking like I said, this is someone that I grew up with. This is someone that I've known for longer than I've done YouTube. It's someone that I knew before. And this is someone who supported me when I needed them. But they support me for my ambition, they support me through everything. And I'm just, I know I'm just an answer and call and it's over. Like, it sounds bad, but the answer in that phone call could have shown that she has someone. I didn't answer because I wanted to do something. But I'm gonna end this, no, because I just want to cry and be alone. I feel like I'm not alone when I'm talking to the camera. If you did watch this, I hope you're doing okay. If you're not, reach out to someone. Please. Please reach out to someone. Bye.